गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रिमोट सेंसिंग सेंसर इट इज अवर पार्ट टू पोर्शन ऑफ द सेंसर राइट in which uh, we have already discussed about the swath point and the nadir and um, you can see here by this figure uh, the the range of a detector is about 285 kilometers and uh, this is the nadir point and this is the swath right so uh, in last class we have discussed about the sensors different different type of sensors in which um, they are scanning and non scanning categories then uh, we have uh, already discussed about the different type of ten se sensors are also then uh, major uh, components of the sensors and uh, detectors different type of detectors also and uh, we have also discussed about the uh, across track scanner right across track scanner generally in the multi spectral scanners uh, in electronics uh, scanning system employ a sensor with a narrow fov right fov that sweep over a terrain of a build to build up uh, a two dimensional image of a surface right so scanning system can be used for both by the aircraft and the satellite platforms and half and have essential to same operating principles okay so um, scanning system used to collect data over a variety of uh, different wavelengths called multi spectral data mss commonly used by the scanning system so there is two main modes of methods of scanning employed to acquire the multi spectral image data first one is across track scanning system then along track scanning system in last class we have already discussed about the across track uh, scanning system now today uh, we will discuss about the along track scanning system right it along track is also used forward motion to the platform to record successive scan line and built up a two dimensional images perpendicular to the flight flight direction right in this system however the linear arrays of a detectors located at the focal length of a image and and formed by the lens system okay which is push along the flight track direction that is along track that's why its name is along track section okay uh, in in this figure you can uh, see also along track scanning system in which the this the scanner move perpendicular to the direction of the flight right mm. uh, in this system also Uh, this system also referred as a push broom scanning system as a motion of the detector array brisk like a bristles of broom being pushed along a floor that's why it is also known as a push broom scan system or scanning system each individual detector measure the energy for a single ground resolution cell that is known as d this one is d you can see here and um, uh, thus the size of fov of the detector determine the spatial resolution of the system right so uh, the along track scanner is uh, uh, with a linear array have a several advantage over the cross track mirror scanning system right so that means uh, along track is having more advantage than the across track system the array of detector combined with the push broom motion allow each detector to see and measure the energy from the 
each ground resolution cell for a longer period of time right that is known as dwell time right so uh, that's why the clarity of image is more in comparison to a long track this allows more energy to be detectors to improve the radiometric resolution right and the increased dwell time also facilitates smaller fov that means just like a zoom in matlab field of view bahut zyada iska close hota hai aur narrower hota hai bandwidth ke sath se final spatial and spectral resolution can be achieved without impacting radiometric resolution because the detectors are usually solid state my micro electronics devices they are generally smaller lighter and less power and more reliable long lasting because they have no moving part right on the other hand cross calibrating thousands of detector to achieve uniform sensitivity across the array is necessary and complicated right so this is exactly the main difference of the along track matter uh, scanning and the uh, uh, cross track uh, scanning system regardless the weather scanning system used either two type of matlab hum dekhenge ki jo uh, generally dekha jaye to jo landsat ke jitne bhi satellites hain usme sare mein across track methods generally use kari gayi hai jisme landsat 1 2 3 t thematic map mein par sabhi mein wo across use kara gaya hai पर इसकी थोड़ी सी रिलायबिलिटी ज्यादा बेटर है क्योंकि ये बहुत इवन ए सिंगल सी सिस्टम देखा था जो हमने सिंगल सिंगल पिक्सल को से वर्क करता हुआ इसीलिए इसकी जो स्कैनिंग सिस्टम है वो काफी रिफाइंड होती है कंपेरिजन टू अक्रॉस सिस्टम से एंड द स्पेक्ट्रल रेंज ऑफ फोटोग्राफिक सिस्टम इज रिस्ट्रिक्टेड टू द विजिबल एंड इंडियर इंफ्रा region while mss can be extended this range into the thermal infrared okay to so multi spectral mein hum isko thermal infrared tak extend kar sakte hain jabki baki mein ye keval near infrared tak ki range mein restricted rehti hai they also capable much higher spectral resolution than the photographic system mm, this these are these all are the uh, advantage of the across along track system scanning system so uh, tomorrow we will discuss about the another um, there is uh, some uh, the errors found in these uh, images these uh, due to this uh, scanning system the image uh, can the energy will be converted absorbed by the scanner can convert it to the um, in the image and uh, uh, the recorded at the ground station and then the image can be recognized so in these type of image there is so many type of errors found to rectify these error and restore the the new image we have to go through these different type of errors in next class we will discuss about the errors Thank you